वेलकम टू एस टी वी नेशनल एट रईट नो वित् अश्विनी शर्मा जी एड यूनिवर्सिटी लर्निंग सिस्टम्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड हाय सर हव यू आई एम वेरी वेल थैंक यू सर कैन यू हाउ डू यू फील कम टू दिस जी एस ई I feel very happy coming here because uh, after covid this is the first conference I am doing face to face earlier we were doing only webinars and uh, I have been doing conferences for many years now and this particular conference was of very particular interest to me because of the theme is sustainability now we are all worried about the environment uh, pollution which is bringing a lot of problems to the mankind so sustainability in any form in any shape is very important and in aviation we are working towards sustainability i am an aviation person last 46 years i have been in aviation so i am very happy to be part of this conclave where we are looking after the aviation sustainability sir uh, now uh, in india what about the aviation industry aviation industry in india is the fastest growing industry of among all sectors it is the fastest growing double digit growth is going to take place but along with aviation fastest growing the pollution is also happening at the same rate so we have to strike a balance between polluting the atmosphere and growth so and in india we are very lucky that uh, our honorable prime minister he is given 3 hours to the industry that we should reuse reinvent uh, reinvent repair uh, rather than going in for new so that way we can look after the uh, environment at the same time we can do progress sir what about the in 1990 uh, co2 uh, carbon monoxide uses and reduce the aviation industry how can it 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 can happen with the sense that the aircraft manufacturers are making aircraft engines which pollute less and less and because of that the carbon uh, dioxide footprint is reducing and uh, also the uh, in india so far government of india has not put any rules that if you are generating so much of carbon you have to offset it by planting trees or by taking measures to you know ha- uh, not to harm the environment but very soon that uh, r- rules are also going to come so then what will happen anybody who is polluting will also have to plant some trees so that to balance out the pollution so we are going to have that very soon is there any technical uh, mechanism so same engine uh, they are using there is the only way which i said in my lecture also is by using either electric propulsion but there also some pollution takes place somewhere else also the waste uh, uh, fuels generated from the waste uh, products hydrogen uh, 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 propulsion all these are there but uh, it will take time it is the industry at the moment the industry in india technology is not there that we can start using them it is going to take time but it will happen sir can you predict to what is the ad- next generation technology uh, next generation technology with no pollution at all is hydro- hydrogen propulsion only because the only waste of that technology is water when water. you have only water is the only waste product so which does not harm the environment so that is the uh, 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 the best we can have otherwise we can have from some plants jetrofa is one which uh, but then somebody said in the lecture today that it took them 6 months to prepare 500 liters of that fuel so if you 500 liters you take 6 months you can imagine if you need tons of fuel which is required for flying from bombay to new york on an aircraft 135 tons of fuel is required to produce that it will take millions of years so that is not possible at the moment so hydrogen propulsion when it becomes uh, reality is the only uh, viable thing uh, and uh, what industry needs industry needs uh, people to uh, come up with ideas our uh, late president apj abdul kalam he used to tell in all his lectures to all to the young students please don't stop dreaming dream about something so i am sure some somebody some indian will dream of some such a, a thing which will then produce something then there won't be any pollution but you can also travel sir are you in 60 years in aviation field how do you feel well i feel satisfied that aviation has given me everything name fame money everything as uh, aviation has given me and now it is i f- i feel it is my responsibility to give back to the 
uh, industry which has given me everything. So that is what I am doing. When I attend these conferences, I, uh, you know, uh, I go and speak to students. I give lectures in colleges, in schools, AME institutes, and I, I am giving back to the industry. Sir, what's your uh, memorable moments and achievements in this industry? Uh, achievements uh, in the sense uh, I I rose to the highest position in my uh, uh, business. I have uh, certified uh, thousands of aircraft in my career and one big achievement is that no aircraft has met with any accident which I have certified, so which is a great achievement. Wow, nice sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you sir. Thank you. Sir, can I have a photograph? Sure.